Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shoutgots. So we are here at the Mod Sandbox Park. Uh, well, not really a park, more like Showcase Island. Um, and uh, we are here because uh, the first new species for Jurassic World Evolution 2 has come out. It is a Megalodon, which was, I think, I think this mod was originally the first mod I did for uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 back when it came out as a replacement, but it is now its own new species. Um, the the modder is LA Studios, and of course, as always, the links will be in the description. Um, and uh, it is something that you need to keep in mind that this is basically a beta right now. There are certain actions that will cause it to crash. Um, if you just have it swimming around naturally in um, a cage, you know, without fights going on and without feeding going on you should be fine it shouldn't be an issue but I, I i did have it crash on me and the modder says that there are definitely some points um in which it crashes we will go over those in just a minute or two but we're going to release one megalodon first and then we'll go over some of the the ins and outs of the mods and look at some other skins as well and then towards the end i will have a tutorial in case you don't know how to um install them it is just like uh the installation of the new species mods in Jurassic World Evolution 1. So if you know how to do that, then you should be fine. Um, but I will have a tutorial at the end if you need to brush up or if you don't know how to do it. All right, so we're going to release um, the kind of base great white shark skin, which is not exactly like a great white shark. Like it has, I, I accidentally released it earlier <laughs> because, you know, I was just clicking the wrong things, but it is... Um, what they're calling the great white shark skin, but it does have like cool like striping and stuff like that. So it's kind of got that great white shark color pattern, but with some striping. So not an exact great white shark uh, replica, but that's fine. We don't want it to be a, a replica. We want it to be a Megalodon and this guy is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's very similar to the original mod. Um, they said that they, f the modder said that they fixed some uh, issues with the jaw uh on the opening of the jaw which I, i've seen some videos that jaw used to open really wide so i'm just going to keep this um this video to just them swimming around just so we don't cause any more needless crashes uh we're going to jump over real quick to the mod page and just look um at some stuff about uh the mod and kind of what what, what causes it to crash and what doesn't um at the moment like eating um, eating tuna sometimes causes a crash as well as, um, uh, fighting and individual feeding behaviors. And that's because the modders can't use those animations, you know, the unique animations yet. Like they don't know how to transfer that over to their new, uh, species mods. So that kind of stuff can cause crashing. Like I have my park set to, no animals starve, so that way they don't hunt, and no animals fight, so that way they don't get in a fight, and I haven't had any issues with them swimming around and just, you know, chilling and, um, and, you know, getting along, quote unquote, getting along with the game. Um, I did have some issues when I tried to tranquilize one, and I did have some issues when I tried, when two got into, like, fights, so that, those things caused my game to crash, but otherwise I haven't had any problems, so, you know, it's one of the reasons why I'm, like, doing this video is just so you can see the mod, uh, you know, just in case you don't want to worry about your game crashing, or, you know, if you're on, uh, PS4 and stuff like that, and you, or PS4, PS5, Xbox, and you don't have access to mods, it's your chance to see it too, but just keep these things in mind if you do decide to download it. It's also worth noting that the mod does not work in challenge mode currently, and, uh, you know, it's not a bad idea to just reread re -read over this page in case there's something that I missed, so you're fully aware of what's going on with it before you start to use it. So now we're going to pop back over to the park. All right, so right now we've got um, the default, quote unquote, default skin. Um, this is the one that is, uh, it just comes out when, um, like the first time you click on um, the, the button to edit the jeans, this is the default combination, which is the desert, great desert skin and the Rana pattern, I believe. Um, and it gives you that coloring. You can see like the original great white, head kind of has like a different uh pattern over the head than the other one does this is the great one white and the other ones have kind of like a um the the stripes just do like a different uh design i guess you can call it on the head and the modders have added a, a nice little chart 
or a set of pictures, if you will, of the different skins and what they look like, which is nice because it is hard to tell sometimes with the underwater effects going. There's the combination for the great white uh, shark skin. It's the great sandy desert plus blank. Um, the sunbaked one is one of the uh, original skins, looking skins from the original mod as well. So that's really cool. And these look these look pretty cool. Like it's a really nice set of skins. Like the colors are there. You've got like the like you know the purple and the green and stuff like that. Without it being just like crazy insane, uh, you know, out there colors. Like the mangrove and the gambia, they look really nice. Like they have like this greenish gray tone. All right, well, that's going to be it for the showcase of the mod. If you need a uh, tutorial on how to install these mods, they're coming up in just a moment. So otherwise, uh, I appreciate you checking out this video as always, and I will see you next time. And here's a tutorial. All right, so um, as far as how to install these, um, it's really straightforward. If you already have the ACSE file installed for other mods, then you don't need to worry about it. Um, you know, uh, just make sure it's up to date and uh, you'll be good to go. If you don't have it installed already, you can find a link to it in the Megalodon page and then you just uh, download it and the Megalodon um, mod and then you just unzip them uh, with your favorite unzip program. And uh, both of these are gonna get dropped into the OVL data folder. Um, I highly recommend having like a shortcut to it on in your, in your Windows Explorer or wherever you use. Um, makes it a lot faster but if you don't know how to get there it's your windows c file or whichever file folder you had it installed in and then um your program files steam steam apps common jurassic world evolution 2 win64 ovl data and then once you're in your ovl data folder once you have that open you just drop in your ace acs i always get that confused your acse folder and then with the Megalodon folder from the main folder, you're going to double click to open it up and you're wanna gonna drop the LAS Megalodon folder into the OVL data folder. You don't want all of that. You don't need all of that stuff in there and it will probably cause your game to crash if you put it all there. Uh, you just want that one folder and you know the install instructions are in there too, just in case if you need them as a reminder and you don't have the video going. And that's, that's all you gotta do. Um, that and you know that's it it is really straightforward and uh this is what makes replacement dinosaurs so great is that you know they're they act as their own little game file within the game and then they don't mess with other files um real quick we're going to pop over into the game one more time just so i can show you um how you can kind of verify that the script file is working properly once you load up the main game and you're on the main uh, load, uh, main menu screen, if you look over down in the corner, you see a little thing that says ACSE and then it has like the version number down on the bottom. And that is, uh, that is your way of knowing if that right there is up, then your ACSE script is working fine and everything is good to go. So basically that tells you that if you do have some crashing problems, it's probably because of the mod and not that script file. <laughs> So that'll do it for uh, this mod showcase and this tutorial. Thank you as always for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, consider subscribing or leave a like, say hello. I'd love to see you around again. And I will definitely be back with more Jurassic World Evolution mods real soon. Until then, have a good one.